Hi friends, welcome to our AIMS Today YouTube channel. In today's IITG Foundation class from Mathematics subject, the real numbers topic we are going to continue. In today's video, we are going to learn about Euclid's division lemma. Let's see some details about this uh, great mathematician Euclid. So he was a Greek mathematician and popularly known as founder of geometry or father of geometry. He was active in Alexandria during the time of Ptolemy around 300 BC. His book Elements is one of the most influential works in the history of mathematics. Uh, it has been serving as the main textbook for teaching mathematics. So regarding division, regarding division, this Euclid has proposed a theorem that is called Euclid division lemma. So here lemma means uh, it is like a theorem but not as important as theorem. So consider as a small theorem or it is a minor result that has been proved to be true using the facts that were already known. So this mathematician Euclid based on division he has proposed a small theorem and that is called Euclid's division lemma. Let's consider we have nine chocolates and uh, we have to divide them into equal groups consisting two of each group. So we know that two four times is around eight and the remainder will be one. If we have given nine chocolates and we were asked to make them into groups of each having two then we can make them into two, four groups, still one chocolate will be remaining. So this is the normal division which we know already. So this normal division according to division rule, how we can write? So dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder. This is the division rule. So from, the, from this division, so here dividend is 9, divisor is 2, coefficient is 4 and finally the remainder is 1. So we can represent this division, we can represent this division in the form of division rule like this. Instead of numbers, if we consider variables, suppose 9 is denoted by variable A, 2 by B, 4 by Q and 1 by R. Then A equal to B into Q plus R, where A and B are, are dividend and divisor respectively. Q is the quotient and R is the reminder. So here, for uh, uh, any two positive integers A and B, so there exists unique integers Q and R satisfying the below condition that is A equal to B into Q plus R. So here we have taken two positive integers one is 9 and another one is 2. For that two positive integers A and B there exist two more integers like 4 and 1 which are unique. Unique means one and only one. There exists one and only one. 4 and 1, two more integers are possible based on the following condition a equal to b into q plus r. But here one thing we have to keep in mind. So whatever reminder we are getting that is always less than or equal to the divisor. Means one is here we can observe one is less than two. So according to Euclid's division lemma, according to Euclid division lemma, if there is for any two positive integers a and b, there exists unique integers q and r satisfying the condition of division rule, normal division rule. But one condition we have to remember, the 0 is less than or equal to r less than b. Means the remainder should always lie between, lies between 0 and the divisor, less than the divisor or equal to the divisor. 
let us see some more examples or in simple words Euclid's division lemma says that whenever you divide an integer by another integer you will get a unique quotient and unique reminder. Some more examples are here 17, 17 is the dividend and 3 is the divisor. If we divide 17 by 3, so what we will get? 3 5 times, 5 times the 15 plus 2 will be the remainder. 24 divided by 7, 7 3 is the 21. 3 will be the quotient and 3 will be the remainder. 61 divided by 11, 5 plus 6. 5 is the quotient and 6 is the remainder. 7 divided by 12. Though 7 is less than 12, we can divide with 12. How means? We can take quotient as 0. 12 0 is 0 will come. 7 will be the remainder. So, in each line, the underlying numbers are dividend and divisors respectively. Here 17, 24, 61, 7. These 4 are the dividends. Another group of underlying numbers 3, 7, 11, 12. These are the divisors. The numbers which are in the brackets, here 5, 3, 5, 0, these four are the, these four are the reminders. These four are the reminders. And uh, if you observe these examples, here a reminder is 2, which is less than divisor 3, a reminder 3 less than divisor 7, 6 less than 11, 7 less than 12. So, all these, in all these examples, what we have observed, we have two numbers like A and B. Satisfying that A and B, we are having two more numbers like Q and R, which are unique and the R is always less than the divisor B. So, like this, we can prove Euclid's division lemma. So thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates from AIMS. Thank you.